hello again today I've decided that I want to try and repeat in a small way my uh, last pour which I used paint scrapings and leftover bits and pieces um, to make my canvas which I was really quite happy with and um, so today I'm going to try doing that again but slightly differently I'm going to use black for my um, uh, base paint. Well, it's kind of like a sandwich pour, so I'll ha I'd have to say I'm going to use black with other colours mixed into it, but black will be the predominant colour. And my colours to go with it will be uh, Monastral Green, Titanium White, uh, my own mix of vermilion orange and gold and mid yellow and I'm going to try them again in my little what I called a cup yesterday of course it's a jug my little sh funny shaped jug and fill that up and then I'm going to do this a similar thing where I'm going to take it from corner to corner diagonally on the pour. So I will pour the paints into the cup first. Starting with the black and also finishing with the black. I'm going to get my gloves on and then it's going to be interesting to see what I get with this. I have the awful feeling that the yellow is going to just get swallowed up completely because it is a much more of a um, translucent paint I think than the others. So um, in my previous yellows when I've mixed them up I have added a little um, orange or gold to it to just uh, make it a little more opaque but this time I just did the yellow as it was. My cup is looking very very pretty. I don't know if you can see the side of that there but I will now start and run it across the canvas. I'll just turn it slightly and start the pour. I should also have told you that I put two drops of silicone into each of the colours except the black so that I could see what sort of cells I would get. I apologise, it is not actually silicone that I use, it is um, dimethicone. I've got the coconut uh, milk uh, hair conditioner and that is what I use as my oil in my painting. Just getting as much out as I can. Before I start to um, to tilt it. There's the, the my cup. Now you can see better the sides of the cup. As you can see very much the yellow appears to have been swallowed. But never mind might surprise me and actually do something, although judging by the canvas it probably won't. 
Okay, now I will also get, while I remember, my corner ca catcher as I um, need to use that, I think because I've only got the minimum amount of paint that I can put onto this canvas. Okay. Uh, I might actually take it over to this corner first since it is the corner, oh no. Beg your pardon, I'm going to change tactics from yesterday and before I actually tilt, I'm going to um, use my torch. Um, I can see what some of the artists call caterpillar cells there, but I'm not worried. I think they're really pretty, particularly with the orange. Okay. And I'll give it another torch when I'm about halfway through. But right now, I'm going to start with this edge. Just take it down. Let it flow off. Again, the paints today are actually runnier than what my paints were yesterday. So, hmm. yes, I'll definitely do this edge second. Bring the paint down. Don't want to lose too much over the edge, so I'm trying to just catch it as I go. Right. Before I go any further, I will give it another torch. Most of that, of course, was just to pop bubbles. I think the cells have pretty much done a lot of what they're going to do. So I'm going to turn it around this way again now. And I'm going to use the catcher again, the corner catcher. And I am going to bring the paint back from this edge to the middle, which is where I left off. And now I'm going to use my corner catch catcher, which has started to bend out the wrong way, but never mind. See if I can hold it a bit more firmly to the edges. That's better. Bring the paint down a little and across. Put some black up on my finger and just run it along here to give it a bit of a Helping hand. Okay. I'm going to take this away, get another corner catcher, and bring the paint back from this corner. And down to this edge. I might actually uh, forego you using that corner catcher now to be honest. I'm going to bring that round, try and ease it over to the edge. I'm actually very pleased I can see some yellow and I don't want to lose that if I can help it. It's just in the cells. Just get some of the paint in. 
help it across the edge there. Okay, and do this final corner here. Bring the paint back down. Across this corner. Okay, give it a wee helping hand there. Yes, that's looking good. Bring the paint back down to the centre. I've got, of course, a lot of the cells are elongated, which I don't have a problem with because I'm not a big cell person. Um, I like the cells I see on other paintings, but um, I don't tend to bother too much if my cells are not quite um, uh, round or uniform or perfect. <laughs> so I'll just give it another quick torch see if anything else pops up. Well, I have to say, I am very pleased with the way the yellow has come through on that. In fact, I'm just really pleased with the whole picture. Um, it's not professional by any means. But it's got bits of everything in it that I like. It's got some white showing through and yellow has come through on the cells. The cells are really wonky, huggledy-puggledy, uh, caterpillary. <laughs> um, I can't pick out any particular cells that are uh, what a cell should really be looking like. But the dimethicone has done what I wanted it to do and that's made sure that the colours that were in with the black are quite predominant rather than it just being mostly black. So now it'll be interesting to see how it dries. Uh, I'm going to bring the camera down to, for a close up and do some still shots and then I'm going to see what is under the painting in the way of drippings. I might get one or two cabochon dips out of those. So I will be back in a minute to um, dip some cabochons. Okay, I'm back again. I've got my blue tack piece attached to the end of a wooden takeaway fork. Uh, for which I'm going to pop my uh, cabochons onto. There's not much pickings here, but I thought I'd try a couple and see what I got. Right, I've got a cabochon with a smiley face on it, which is one of my transfers that I love to put on them. And because I've got black as my predominant colour, the smiley face should show up really well no matter what I dip it in. I'd like some orange in there. So I think I will probably go down close here to the camera, turn the face so that it's in the black and the rest is in the colour and just dip it straight down into there. Okay. And that's how it came out. I'm actually really pleased with that. That's quite pretty. I don't know how well you can see that. I'll try and angle it away from the light a little. That's better. So that you can see what it looks like. A bit of orange and a bit of green. I'm really pleased with how that's come out. I might try one more oval one down here. I quite like the green into the black so that it's almost black but with just the hint of green just makes for a different colouring um, in the cabochon. So I have got another oval one on my stick and just down in here is quite a nice patch of this greeny black. So I'll see how well I can pick that up. I'm doing it with my right hand and of course I'm left-handed so I'm a little bit wobbly. Right, let's see what I've got on this one. Could come out mostly, oh no, that's nice. It has come out with the black background and the very pretty green 
I'll try and take that around so that the light isn't shining on it too much. There we are. You can see that. That's lovely. That will do it for today. Once again, thank you very much for joining me. And I'll see you again next time. Thank you.